It's Charter Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here. We are joined by Angie Reyes English. She is a, she's the mayor pro tem actually of the beautiful city of Hawthorne in the South Bay region of Los Angeles County. And there are so many great little cities down there. And you know, at times cities can be a little competitive, but you're looking at creating kind of regional partnerships to create an economic environment that benefits the entire South Bay. Exactly. Tell us about that exciting projects around the corner. Well, hello and thank you. Always good to see you, Angie, you. thank you. Uh, well, for the most part, uh, we're, you know, a six, six square mile city, centrally located right off our freeways. Right. How convenient is that to LAX and other major corridors mm -hmm. with over 90,000 people? And the funny thing is, I feel like we shouldn't tell anyone that. <laughs> because, you know, in the South Bay in a lot of ways, yeah. it, it, it's kind of a hidden gem. It is. And people don't realize how centrally located it is because it's kind of in between LAX and Orange County, sure. close enough to the beach, close enough to downtown. It really is a great place. You know, we're centrally located just, you know, next door to Inglewood. Right. Where we're going to have such excitement coming through. And how important is Begin. that? Begin. Let's be very specific yes. about the excitement that's going you on know, in Inglewood. The NFL and the new uh, stadium coming soon. And we need to be able to uh, capture that. And how better than to stir economic development right. and uh, I, I think it's going to be beneficial for many. And let's talk that through because you're the si sister city next door to Englewood so you're not intricately involved in the development. I'm sure you're talking to your friends there. Sure. So how does a city capitalize to create those catalytic consequences when you have a huge project going on just next door? You want to get some of that spillover. Uh, and I believe we're going to get that spillover. Right. We have it today with LAX expansion. Well stated. We have folks that are looking for hotels, looking for hospitality outside mm -hmm. of the, the norm, if you will. And uh, I think it's very important that uh, we're headed in the right direction to do that, where hospitality, hotels, uh, even our Hawthorne Mall that's coming back. Right. So let's talk more about hospitality because... Mm -hmm. As you suggest, the hospitality region is really spreading. Mm -hmm. It's not just at Disneyland or Universal Studios or Hollywood. Sure. People are staying in lots of different places. And now with the NFL back, how does Hawthorne become, become that destination? Well, for the, for the most part, uh, we're now recognized as the SpaceX, right? The SpaceX that uh, is in Hawthorne today, providing lots of jobs mm -hmm. and more importantly, uh, a need that we need to expand on the bringing it to be a a city right. for everybody and uh, how better than to start start the thought of economic development in a larger scale and I want to talk more about economic development because the reality is economic development can be challenging there are so many different and competing interests when you think about economic development. And when you're a city of six square miles and 90,000 people, there are 90,000 different opinions. Mm -hmm. And I, are you fully built out yet? I mean, is there much space to develop? Well, interesting enough, we just approved the Hawthorne Mall. Yeah, tell us more about and, that. And uh, this is uh, Magnitude LAX. It's roughly a million square feet. It's going to have uh, office space, entertainment, restaurants. It's also going to be uh, rooftop gardens with condominiums. Mm. So, so truly mixed use. Truly, truly mixed use. And mind you, this is the first mixed use of its kind in the city of Hawthorne. So let's talk that through because obviously with a million square feet, there sure. are going to be some people who think that's the best thing that happened since sliced bread. And other people think, how dare you? It's going to cause traffic jams. Sure. And so, having been on the city council for quite some time, sure. how did you navigate the waters to create a project that made sense? It's all about compromise, sure. but that made sense. We have to be responsible to our community and hear what our community's concerns are, but at the same time, at some point, we have to think outside the box and mm. we need to start developing for the future. Right. And what I mean by that, we need to bring dollars to Hawthorne. Right. The mall has been stagnant for some years, maybe 15 years. At some point, you say enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And so we start looking at that. And more importantly, we start working as a council collectively. Have you been? And we have. Nice. And that has brought us where we are today. And uh, I am very proud of that. So you have this million square foot project with how much housing? Uh, Do we know yet? Roughly estimated 600. 600 units? Yes. I mean, that's uh, what, almost 2,000 people. And I have to think that you want to move them in ways that 
include, but not exclusively, the car. So yeah. you want to be able to put them on bikes, on buses, um, on self-autonomous vehicles, sure. in Uber, whatever it may be. Given the mixed-use nature of this project, what are you doing along those lines? Yeah, well, most importantly, we've uh, put standards in place for developers, and we've included those types of concerns mm -hmm. of, uh, on parking space, right. you know, how much parking spaces are needed uh, for those types of developments, including the the housing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're working very hard with our engineers and just people, the those that are interested in coming to Hawthorne. And it's uh, it's always been a concern. It's any concern throughout Los Angeles. And so, as you know, the voters of Los Angeles were very generous. They passed Measure M, which is a half cent sales tax um, passed by over 70% of the mm -hmm, vote. Mm -hmm. It needed two thirds. Mm -hmm. And so can Hawthorne leverage some of those dollars? I mean, what's the thought? Because look, there's a lot of focus on the train, sure. but for Hawthorne, it could be the bus as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, <coughs> I sit on the Metro Sector uh, Service Council for Metro and as an advisory board mm. member, and it's always been my uh, thoughts and, 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 and others that we need to think uh, other than car and we need to think of rail, we need to think of bus and, right. and bikes and whatnot. And I'm so fortunate that the city of Hawthorne has had the foresight to do that, right. to include bike lanes in our streets. And, and uh, we have a very long boulevard, Hawthorne Boulevard, that runs you know, mm -hmm. uh, north and south. And we've done that. And today we're working on uh, including more receptacles, more bus benches, more okay. things that folks are gonna need to help them get around. Do you feel as if that measure M, and I want to talk very broadly, mm -hmm. not into specifics, mm -hmm. but having covered this issue, you know, when I look back at the initiative that failed, I think it was Measure J that failed back in 2012, mm -hmm. some felt it failed because the San Gabriel Valley didn't feel as if they were a significant player. Included, yeah. A little rumbling about that with the South Bay and Measure M. Sure. That maybe the South Bay was, you know, pulled the short stick. Sure. Did you hear that? Do you feel as if the South Bay is getting its just due? You know, I respect everyone's uh, concerns, especially those elected and are looking out for their constituents in their communities. And it's important to realize that everyone wants, everyone wants to have their fair share. Right. And that's kind of the discussion that uh, has been uh, out in the community. Right. Well stated. Uh, and and mm. for that, you know, I feel the same. However, when you have an opportunity before you that talks about longevity, not just right. today, it's important to realize that we could be gone tomorrow, but we want to be able to assure our constituents and the communities that the repairs and things that are needed to get folks around is in place. Were you surprised that the voters were as generous as they were passion, passing Measure M by 70% of the vote? I mean, you know, it's interesting. There were 14 counties that had these transportation taxes on their mm -hmm. ballot in November. Mm -hmm. Only six passed them. Yeah. Eight did not. You know, they all needed two thirds, and, and you know, to get over seventy percent—that's stunning. Yeah, I believe Angelinos, and I believe uh, our little communities, right. some eighty-eight right. communities, cities, right? Cities, uh, they get it. Our LAX is expanding. Right. Our city is growing, and I think folks need to have the foresight to see that. We're not getting smaller. Oh, no, we're, we're not. We're getting larger. Her name is Angie Reyes English. She is the mayor pro tem of the beautiful city of Hawthorne in the South Bay region of Los Angeles County. My name is Brad Palmer. It's coming to you from not far from Hawthorne, actually. Far, yeah. This is Charter Local Edition.